Hey everyone, what is going on? I'm Apprentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we are looking at another water battle. If you haven't seen one yet, then <laughs> this is gonna be your first one, but this is another one here where it is actually Dasani versus Nestle Pure Life, okay? And if you haven't seen any of these, you wanna check out the other ones. So what you want to do is smash that subscribe button wherever it's at around here somewhere so you can get more tips and tricks and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. Now for these waters we're going to test them for three specific properties. The first one is antioxidants. The second one is on alkalinity and the third is on superior hydration. All right so Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about those antioxidants. Now, not sure if you know this, but we have these things all around us known as free radicals, okay? And that's ultimately why we get older, why we get sick, okay? Because they come in, they take the electricity, the electrons from our healthy cells, and that creates oxidation and inflammation within the body because they can't breathe. They can't push out the waste, they can't take in nutrients, and they end up being linked to every single health disease known to man. That inflammation, by the way, that swelling that happens, that's any type of itis you're experiencing. So if the doctor tells you that you have some kind of itis, whether that's bronchitis, tendonitis, whatever it is, that's inflammation that's happening in your body, okay? So antioxidants, they come in and they give all of those free radicals, the electron that they need so they can be neutralized. So it neutralizes free radicals, it reduces that inflammation, stops that oxidation, so you can essentially keep living a young and youthful life, all right? So, guess what? Oxidants are free radicals, they're positively charged, okay? And antioxidants, they are negatively charged. And so we're gonna use this ORP meter to see if we get a positive or a negative number. And that's gonna let us know which one we're dealing with. So let's start off with the Sani. See what we get. All right, so looks like we are seeing a 210 with the Sani. So that is oxidizing, it's showing a 210. Let's go ahead and see what we get when we use Nestle Pure Life. Whoa, Nestle Pure Life is showing a 258. They're about even, but the Sani definitely wins in this round just because it is a lower number, it's closer to zero when it comes to that oxidation. But they're both oxidizing. Now you're probably wondering, is there a water that shows up negative? Is there a true anti-oxidizing water? There is, I actually have it right here. We'll go ahead and pour some of this, see what we get. All right. So let's see what we get when we test this one out. Look at that, that is a powerful 780, okay? That is a negative 780, see that dash? That dash is a negative number, that means it's highly antioxidant. And that's because it's filled with one of the strongest antioxidants, which is hydrogen, okay? These other two waters, they don't have hydrogen. They have H2O, they have water molecules, but not hydrogen, all right? So that's the end of the first test, which is antioxidants. The second one, is alkalinity and we care about this one because our body needs to stay in a slightly alkaline environment. Not all of it, but mainly our blood. Okay, our blood must maintain a 7.36, okay? And it can fluctuate just a little, but not too much. And if it does, we get too acidic, we end up dying. In fact, everybody who has passed away, their body was so just acidic. However, when we're born, our body is very alkaline. Okay, so if we're consuming things that are alkaline, it's gonna use that nutrients, those electrolytes, those minerals from that alkaline um, thing that we consume to keep our blood in balance. However, if we're consuming cigarettes, tobacco, alcohol, uh, junk food, all these things that are acidic, our blood is gonna keep that, keep that pH, but it's gonna start taking the minerals from you. It's gonna start taking it from your skin you're gonna have to wear long shirts just to hide how bad your skin looks. 
you'll end up having to take it from your bones, your joints, your ligaments. And while everybody is out playing basketball or doing running or any type of activity, you're not going to be able to because your bones and your joints are going to hurt. Okay, and that's how osteoporosis happens. And if we keep being acidic, then it's going to start taking the minerals from our brain. And this is how Alzheimer's happens. All right? So we want to make sure our blood stays slightly alkaline by consuming things that are alkaline. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use pH red drops. And if we see a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means it's acidic. It's eating electrolytes and minerals in our body. However, we see a purple, a blue, purple, a dark purple, it's alkaline, it's keeping that balance, keeping us healthy, all right? Let's see what we get here from our Dasani. Check out Nestle Pure Life. And then just for kicks, let's check out this water here. All right, so as you can see, the Nestle Pure Life water is just a little bit better than the Dasani right here. <laughs> All right, so as far as this goes, I wanna say uh, that Nestle Pure Life wins. And that's because it has extra stuff in here though, that's bringing it balance. In fact, if we actually took that and put it to a test, give it a little acidity, let's see what happens. Alright, so it actually ends up being just as bad as the Sani. So they're about the same. And that makes sense because this is purified water. And the Sani is also purified water. And when you do purification, you're taking everything out and then you're adding in stuff. Okay, so they add in just a little bit more in this one, in this brand, than in this brand, and that's how it showed a different color. Alright? Let's look at that final test, which is superior hydration. All right, here we are with that final test, test number three, superior hydration. One of my favorites, and it's mainly because this is what helped me, okay? So being someone who has sickle cell anemia, who has sickle cell anemia, I was always feeling dehydrated, and it wasn't until I got the right water that actually I stopped feeling thirsty, okay? So let's go ahead and check this out, and the best way we're going to do this test is this. We're going to make tea, all right? Now, here's what happens, right? When we normally drink water, we consume it, and it comes in, and it sits right here, right? It doesn't get absorbed into the body. Why is that? It's because the water molecules are too big. But maybe the sauna will be a little different. Let's try it out. We're going to see if we can make some tea here. All right, now, for some reason, it doesn't want to make it that first go, which is okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it a few few dips see if we can make some tea here and this is kind of what happens right that tea bag how it's flipping at the top we feel bloated we're like man this isn't doing anything right and so it's taking all this work that I'm doing right now to try to make tea and guess what it's not even doing it well all right <laughs> so let's go to the other side let's try out Nestle Pure Life let's see if this is able to make tea All right, the tea bag is wet, so. See, this one's actually able to make tea a little bit better. All right, so we'll say this first round goes to Nestle Pure Life. We're gonna go ahead and give this one more try just to see if the Sani can pull out a victory. <laughs> Maybe it can work this time a little bit. Maybe. No, it's not. All right, it's doing a little bit now. But still, man, nowhere near as good as the Nestle Pure Life. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull this over here one more time. Trying to see, it should immediately just start making tea. Like this is bad, like do we have to jump? We shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated, right? We should be able to just get hydrated, okay? Now I know this sounds crazy, but 
And I know it sounds crazy. You're like, all right, he's trying to make tea with cold water. Like that, it does sound crazy, right? Well, let me just go ahead and try this water over here and see what happens. All right, let me just try a little bit of this. So it's possible just that water isn't really hydrating us. Let me see what happens if I pour this over here. So everything is there, it's just the water isn't meant to hydrate you, right? So this water is. Oh my gosh, so neither one of them were able to hydrate. I would say maybe Nestle Pure Life was better. You let me know in the comments below. But ultimately, we tested for three specific things, right? First one was antioxidants. We found out that both Dasani and Nestle Pure Life are oxidizing. This one was slightly less, so this one is the winner of that category, all right? Second thing we tested for, was alkalinity and even though Nestle Pure Life has more stuff in it it ultimately won't really help with acidity and it actually brought it down to the same level of the sun so we'll call that a tie last but not least we checked for superior hydration and neither one came to hydrate superiorly but Nestle Pure Life actually did make tea while the Sani had a tough time doing it so uh, let's see I would say this is I don't know, it's hot. You let me know who won. Either way, I wouldn't drink either of these. I would rather be interested in this water right here. So if you want to learn more, there's a couple of things you can do, three things you can do. One, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this on YouTube. Second, you want to check me out on my website, apprenticesamson.com, as I provide you with more tips, tricks, and tactics for improving your wellness. Last but not least, you want to see more videos that's too hot for YouTube? You want to check me out on Facebook. That's the main thing, all right? Follow me on Facebook and you'll see videos on there where I will never, ever be showing on YouTube just because they're, they're too wild, all right? YouTube's not ready. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know which waters you want me to test next. And remember, if you change your water, you can change your world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.